Luca is Pixar's second film to debut on Disney Plus without going into theaters, and its third film in total that has been negatively impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. But there's so much that could have been done for Luca. My name's Josh Taylor, this is Modern Mouse, and today I want to ask the question, did Disney fail Pixar's Luca? Let me give a bit of backstory here. The COVID-19 pandemic has hurt a ton of industries, especially entertainment avenues like theme parks or concert venues or movie theaters. In fact, the entire movie industry had to make a shift, and luckily, on-demand streaming services are a thing that exists because a majority of production companies ended up putting their films out on various streaming services. In the early days of the pandemic, a lot of people believed that things would change in two weeks or two months or six months, so a lot of movie theaters and a lot of production companies were constantly pushing back the premiere dates of movies going into theaters. But by the autumn of 2020, Disney started taking a unique approach. They released their live action Mulan film for a $30 add-on cost to Disney+. They called it a premiere, as in you were seeing the premiere of the movie just like you would at a theater, but instead you were watching it at home on their streaming service. Regardless of what you think of the cost, Disney believed in the concept, so they went forward with releasing their new animated film Raya and the Last Dragon that way. And later they would release Cruella the exact same way. It gave each of these films a little bit extra hype, as they were stuck behind a paywall and deemed worthy of the cost. Throughout the pandemic, Pixar, Disney's subsidiary and sister animation studio, has not been receiving that exact same treatment. Onward, which debuted in the United States in theaters on March 6th, 2020, was pulled shortly after, due to theaters shutting down. The film only made $141 million at the box office, essentially losing money on its nearly $200 million budget. The best thing to do for the movie was to put it out on Disney+, Plus, since nobody really knew what would be the future of theaters going forward, at least for a little while. And it wouldn't be until months later where Disney created the premiere plan for Mulan. Interestingly, Pixar's Soul would be announced as a film that would go straight to the Disney Plus platform, without the paywall. That was something many overlooked, since Disney had only pulled out the premiere idea for just Mulan. But as we moved into 2021, and Disney opted to put movies like Raya and the Last Dragon and Cruella behind a paywall, it seems strange that they wouldn't do the exact same thing for Pixar's new film, Luca. There are both positives and negatives to not putting it behind the $30 paywall. On the positive side, this creates goodwill between Disney Plus and its customers, as they're getting top tier entertainment from a company like Pixar, who's had more hits than misses. Also, going straight to the streaming service hasn't deterred any films from not winning any kind of awards. Pixar's Soul won Best Animated Feature at the Oscars in 2021. Theoretically, this also allows more people to see Pixar's films. There are people that just don't like going to movie theaters, and with the vast amount of films and TV shows on any service, many people wouldn't pay the extra fee, the $30 premiere cost, or the movie tickets. In the long run, this can create a higher demand for merchandise or other synergistic ventures like adding characters to the theme parks. They'll be much more successful since the public is more familiar with these characters and stories. On the opposite side of that argument, Pixar not getting the $30 premiere treatment makes them look subpar to Disney, even if you've never thought about it. Disney's planted this idea in your subconscious that makes them look superior to any of the other animation studios since they're the ones that have to be behind a paywall. On top of this, the historical ramifications show that these films didn't make anything or not enough money. Box office numbers might be something that's slowly dying thanks to streaming, but as of right now, people still care about what the box office tells us and many will look back on these films as an unfortunate time for Pixar, rather than a successful one. Think about a film like The Black Cauldron. There are a ton of people who have never seen that movie, and think of it as lesser than, 
because of its weak box office numbers versus something like The Lion King, which continues to get passed down from one generation to the next. This is also a big deal for the studio and its animators. It's been reported that morale is down due to the lack of hype around any of the movies being made at the studio. And since the studio employs hundreds of people, you'd have to assume that without making any money from Luca and the other films, there could potentially be some downsizing in the future. I hope not, but as an employee, I know I'd be thinking that. As far as the movie going experience, Luca looks like a beautiful film, one that would be best seen on a large screen. Animators at Pixar take the time to think about the details that can be seen on such a large movie theater screen, so when it doesn't get the opportunity to be featured on a large screen, it must feel like all of that work that was put in was for nothing. Only time will really tell, but my personal feelings are that Disney has done a disservice to Pixar, and to Luca in particular, especially as a pandemic is slowing and movies are releasing into theaters. Disney could have the opportunity to release it both to theaters and to Disney Plus at the same time, or push it back a few months so that they could put it into theaters and have a big premiere. When I think about films that I saw at home during the pandemic, my memory gets jumbled up and I don't really remember all of them. But what I do remember is my experiences going to a theater. Because going to a theater is such a big event, it's taking you out of your norm. Seeing a movie in the theater means that I have to go to a different place. And when I watch things at home on my television set, it doesn't feel nearly as special. The case could be made for a lot of films, even animated films like The Mitchells vs. The Machines, a fantastic film from Sony Animation. That's just me though and my personal take. I know there are a bunch of other opinions about the movie industry and where it's shifting to and what should or shouldn't be done. So let me know your thoughts about Luca and whether or not it should have gotten a theatrical release or been behind the $30 premiere paywall on Disney+. Ultimately, time will tell whether or not this was a good decision or not from Disney. If you're interested in supporting me and Modern Mouse and everything that we do here, there are a bunch of different ways you can do it. Down in the description box below, there's a merchandise link for shirts and stickers. Also, there's a link to my Patreon page, a place where you can get exclusive podcasts and extra videos from me uh, for just a dollar, three dollars, or five dollars a month. If you didn't know, I recently moved to California and I've gone full time with doing YouTube and podcasts. So really going to Patreon or buying a shirt does help keep the lights on. It does help me continue to do what I'm doing and make more and more stuff for everybody. That being said, in the meantime, my friends, thank you for watching and as always, keep moving forward.